Sunday night softball rolls on here on the ACC Network. From Duke Softball Stadium in Durham, North Carolina, third and final game of the series. Number two, Duke going for the sweep against their arch rival, North Carolina. All right now, leading 491 batting average. Chops this over the circle. Tough play, and no chance for the second baseman, Amina Vega. And Alex Coleman begins the game with a base hit. With the stolen base, the Tar Heels have not had that many opportunities in this one. A soft liner off the bat of Skyler Brooks right to Amina Vega, and there's the first out. Being her sixth year at Carolina. Ball's hit in the air to right field. Sarah Goddard right there, and a throw back to first base, and they double up Alex Coleman, who We'll have to see if she was running on the pitch or forgot how many outs. But two balls and a strike. In on top and a roller to first base, gathered by Carly Myrtle, who steps on the bag. The only head coach in school history. This is a first pitch swing in deep right center field and staying red hot. Claire Davidson jumping on that first pitch for her team leading 12th home run of the year. All right, fans, get on your feet. It's time for a t-shirt toss. Belt did that first one, Coach. She did. That ball was inside, uh, right in her wheelhouse, and she Tiger, took it for a big ride over the right center fence. Skipping up the berm there. It sharply, it kicks off the foot or glove of Myrtle and into right center field. And Vega is on. Hit off the end of the bat to the right side. And Myrtle lets Brooks grab that for the second out. Lays down the punt, and it's a good one. And no chance at any base. For Kenner Ray Dark, bunt base hit for the catcher, Kelly Torres. Freilich hits it in the air out to center field, and Carson Sneed in a few steps to make the catch. So Kenner Ray Dark able to hold it to just the one run. We need to get back to what we've been doing, Tar Heel softball this year, being aggressive. That's out to short. Abby Settlemeyer able to snag it and throw out, I should say, Jada Baker throwing out Immerling. Thompson chops it towards the hole. Tough play, trying to backhand Baker. Can't come up with it. And that should be a clean base hit for Thompson when the season came to an abrupt end. Yes. Behind ah. short. That is fair by a foot. Kicks into foul ground, but now they've got the runner hung up. Thompson trying to get back to second is tagged out. Middleton's able to advance to second base. And she walked her. Doug Mueller issues her first free pass of the game. Into right field and right at Sarah Goddard to retire the side. Goddard starting things off for the Blue Devils in inning number two. It bounces it towards the middle. Collected by Settlemeyer and out by a step and a half is Goddard. One pitch, one out. Kenner Ray Dark. Been year back in 2022. Wax that up the middle and into center field. Baker has her first base hit of the series. Has got great speed. She can bunt, she can bunt for hit or swing away. The tag out, that'll be the only play. Brooks gets the oncoming Baker. Ball down low is ball four. Throw goes through any wave from Emerling. So that on base streak now after her home run in the first inning. A little flare caught right off the shoe tops by Settlemeyer with a headlong dive and a really nice play because if that lands, that would have been big trouble. And the Tar Heels get out of the inning. Get your recruits in. Soft liner, but a little leap there by 
Baker at shortstop of the infield drawn in. One out. You know, into the third inning, trying to give an opportunity for Carolina to have some someone on base. Up the middle and with her speed, Amina Vega did all she could going to her right to get to the ball. Brooks lined out to the second baseman, Vega, her first time up, and that's going to allow Coleman to scoot down to second. Wild pitch out there, but she's most comfortable with that grip. About three inches between the, yeah. the hands there. Nice play by Baker to get Brooks at first, but Coleman does scoot over to third base. See what she gets on 2-2. Two, two. Strike three paints that outside corner. First strikeout of the game for Danny Drugmuller ends the inning. And after two and a half, and Drives that 3-2 pitch to center, but to her right, Carson Sneed will locate that. Looked pretty like well by Homer and comes in bunches. Then. Exactly, exactly. It's that towards third, gathered Middleton, got her. Destiny stayed with it, almost caught it on the fly. Bases are empty with two outs. Kelly Torres hits one off the glove of the diving Abby Settlemeyer. And into left center field, and Torres, who bunted her way on her first time up. Freelich floater to first to Carly Myrtle to retire the side. It's the fifth runner left on by Duke so far tonight. Full major economics and sports science. Yeah, Bella takes her academics very seriously. Both, both programs play. One out. So now Thompson, first pitch swinging and into left center field. And Thompson now two for two tonight. She competes at the plate and she's really. Two innings ago, blooped one fair by about a foot down the left field line. Bunts this one and once Drugmuller missed it, headed to third, close play, safe. Thompson never hesitated around second. And advances all the way to third from first base on a bunt base hit. The staff that's been expanded, uh, it's given her a lot more opportunity to really focus on her pitches and work to get better and not have to feel like she's. She didn't bite on that, and the infielders creep in for a 3 2 pitch to Bertle with a couple of runners now in scoring position. And now the Heels have loaded the bases with one out. Second walk today. Duke's infield is in to hopefully cut off that run. Wright comes back and gets a strikeout. It has been a wall here so far this weekend in Durham for them. One two pitch. And Wright gets the strikeout. After coming in and walking Myrtle to load the bases. Goddard had a home run in yesterday's game and wraps that one right back through the circle and into center field. That three run homer yesterday and there's her fat out of some jams as Duke has left. Five runners on base, slow roller and the tag put on by Brooks gets the lead runner Goddard but Baker will reach on a fielder's choice. Jennings has been up at the top of the lineup and now she's at the bottom of the lineup, but Coach Young said that she likes her down there sometimes to turn the lineup over. Dark fielding her position and Skyler Brooks gets over to cover first, so. Four pitch walk to Tapia and you don't want to do that when it brings up Claire Davidson who's swinging the kind of bat she is right now. Same area, same results. To right center again. Except this one wasn't a solo shot. It comes with a couple runners on base. Three run blast, four nothing Duke. That ball was a little bit outside, but it was a little bit elevated. And she got her bat right under it. Great contact. And out of the park. And hit it almost to the exact same spot yeah. that her home run in the first inning was in. She's pretty. 
Apples hit towards right and well and back and gone. Oh, well, we just told you about this combination, Davidson and Vega, and they hit back-to-back home runs. Yeah. Ninth of the year for Vega, and now it's her time. Got under it, out to short right field. Brooks is called off by Alex Coleman. And that retires the side, but four score, all with two outs. A little tap out in front of the plate, barehanded by Torres, and a late throw to first. So Coleman has her third hit of the game. That's a great response, came into home, and she just has such great passion for the game. She makes some things happen. That went off the glove of Jayla Wright and trickled into right field. So it looks like Brooks is going to have a base hit. 20 off of it, 15 to 20 off of it. Goes back to her bread and butter and strikes out Settlemeyer. A great year this year, her best since she's been at Carolina. It's ball four back to the screen. Runners. Advance regardless. The bases are going to be loaded for Thompson. Top to third, going to go home for the force out there. So right to Anna Gold. Fair! Up with it quickly was Davidson. There was a force at third, but scooting quickly to third base. To avoid, Carolina finally gets a hit with a runner in scoring position, their first of the series to get on the board. Destiny just went with a short stroke to the ball, put it in play right through the hole, the 5-6 hole, and that's all they needed to get a run and maybe to get a monkey off their back. Indeed. Lily Walker has right here as she faces Carly Myrtle and throws strike three to end the inning. One one pitch, she did her job. Bought a seat in their stadium, and I have never sat in it, and uh, I'm gonna throw out a first pitch up there, so pretty excited about that. Need to hear more about that when it, after it happens at 3-0. And Marissa Young with a full count, two outs, bases loaded, lifts Jayla Wright, brings in Lily Walker, throws one pitch, gets a strike three called in the inning. That's to right field and caught by Coleman. You don't see a run fourth for Duke. It's flipped by Harris to the backstop, allowing Torres to go down to second. Nikki's had a, a little bit of control batter at a time and try to make some progress. Goddard sends it in the air to left center field and Sneed calls off Thompson. Torres was thinking about third. When you when you do go in, chopped out to third, charged and gathered by Middleton. Throws her out at first to end the inning. We Megan Smith Lyon with seven, along with Hannah George. So she broke her coach's record <laughs> this year. And I'm sure Coach was more than happy. Yes, yes. To have her record broken. Walker ready with a two-two pitch. Off speed, popped up in foul ground into the glove of Anna Gold. Fielded cleanly and thrown out by Baker. And they retire Coleman for the first time tonight. Sites and it's been on a rotation, but COVID definitely put a halt to it. And Katie Bubella in the game now at third base. Plays shortstop. 
And they're going to overturn it. All right. So there was enough that they saw. Reaching out, hit down the left field side, drops in fair. Thompson a little trouble coming up with it. And down to second is Tapia. And ball four. And Amina is battling up there. That's going to load the bases and bring up on a gold. Got under it, a high fly to right field. Lead runner looking to tag Terrell. The catch is made by Coleman. Throw is going to come towards second base. A sack fly for gold, her 29th RBI. Top towards short. Settled by our fires to first to retire the side. So this time it's. Duke that settles for one. Last chance for the heels. Brooks singled her last time up. Out to short. Leaping grab Baker and on to first. One out. Baker did a nice job with that ball and making a nice throw to play free, to have fun, and to just to get the job done. And there's a base hit to right field for Settlemeyer. So hit number 10 tonight for the... Jayla Wright threw one pitch and got a called strike three. That's popped up on the infield, and it's dropped. They do have a force out at second. Throw there is in time. Well, Walker really looked like she wanted to catch it, and then Carly Myrtle is like, no, no, you're a pitcher. You're not really supposed to catch those, even though it was in the circle. In the air to shallow right. And the catch by Goddard ends the game. North Carolina will look at tonight's game and really think about the missed opportunities that they that they had opportunity with runners on and they didn't take advantage of it. Duke improves to 33 and 3 overall and 13 and 2 in conference. Carolina drops to 24 and 13 and 6 and 9 in conference play. Coming up next here on ACC Network, three-day weekend, Charlotte. That's going to take care of things from here in Durham.